It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be solving subtracting linear expressions two ways, using the horizontal method and the vertical method. Here's our question. Which of the following is equivalent to this expression? So we have four answer choices to pick from, and here we have subtracting linear expressions. So we want to first model the horizontal method. That means I'm going to keep this written the way it is, and I'm going to focus on the fact that we're subtracting. So we're subtracting this linear expression and this one. So we're take, subtracting this expression from this one. So we're going to start by looking at like terms because we can subtract like terms. So I see that I have 3x squared and 5x squared. So 3x squared subtract 5x squared is what we'll do. Then we're going to go to the next pair of like terms. We have negative 4x subtract positive 3x. So negative 4x subtract 3x. And our constants. We're going to have positive 9 subtract negative 4. 9 subtract negative 4. That's where it gets tricky. Remember we're subtracting and the value was negative. So now we just need to combine our like terms. 3x squared subtract 5x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 4x subtract 3x is negative 7x. And 9 subtract negative 4. Add the opposite. So 9 add 4 is positive 13. So now we check and we can see that that is answer choice D. And that's how you do it the horizontal way. Let's clear our screen and move on. We're going to do it the vertical method this time. This is my personal favorite because I feel like I make less mistakes when I set up my work this way. So vertically, we're going to take our first value, our first ex linear expression, and we will subtract the second. So we'll set it up. Here's our first quantity from the parentheses, and we're going to subtract the second keeping in mind that we're subtracting each term. So it's going to be subtract 5x squared, subtract 3x, subtract negative 4, which means we're going to add. All right, let's do this. Our like terms are stacked. 3x squared subtract 5x squared is negative 2x squared. Like terms, negative 4x, add 3x, I mean subtract 3x, negative 7x. And then 9 add 4 is going to be positive 13. So there we have the same answer. Negative 2x squared, subtract 7x, add 13, answer choice D. And that are two ways to subtract linear expressions, the horizontal method and the vertical method. Which one's your favorite? Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.